Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about Open Core Legacy Patcher version 2.3.0. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Open Core Legacy Patcher, OCLP, version 2.3.0 was released with a primary focus on supporting Mac OS 15.4 Sequoia, alongside various enhancements and bug fixes. With this release, Sequoia support remains a work in progress. Features like iPhone mirroring, T2 chip required, and Apple intelligence, neural engine needed, are still unsupported due to hardware constraints. This release targets compatibility with macOS Sequoia 15.4, the latest iteration of Apple's operating system as of early 2025. This continues OCLP's tradition of quickly adapting to new macOS updates, ensuring that older Macs, some dating back to 2007, can run the latest software despite Apple dropping official support. Sequoia 15.4 likely introduces new features, security updates, and under-the-hood changes that require OCLP to update its root patching mechanisms and driver compatibility to maintain functionality on unsupported hardware. Primary changes includes resolved Broadwell widget rendering on macOS Sequoia, some T1 communication issues on macOS Sequoia, and some non-metal graphical issues on several OSs. The project emphasizes that it's community-driven, urging users to temper expectations and revert to older OSs like Sonoma or Venture if critical issues arise. Moving forward and talking about the change log for this build, regarding crash analytics disabled, OCLP 2.3.0 removes client-side crash analytics entirely. The server-side analytics had been disabled for years, and this update cleans up the code base by eliminating the corresponding client-side functionality. This change reflects a focus on privacy and streamlining the application. Regarding installer changes, the OpenCore Patcher GUI.app.zip file, previously a standalone app option, has been removed from releases. This follows its deprecation in version 1.5.0, with the project now fully transitioning to the OpenCore Patcher.pkg installer package as the recommended installation method. This shift simplifies distribution and ensures a more consistent installation process across systems. Regarding copyright update, the copyright label in the software has been updated to 2025, aligning with the current year and reflecting ongoing maintenance. Regarding Metalib support PKG fix, a bug where Metalib support PKG, a component for supporting metal graphics on certain GPUs, failed to cache properly on systems not requiring the kernel debug kit KDK has been resolved. This improves reliability for users with non-metal or legacy metal GPUs, ensuring smoother graphics performance on macOS Sequoia. Regarding resolved Broadwell widget rendering on macOS Sequoia, Broadwell Max, for example, 2014-2015, face widget glitches due to legacy GPU issues on Sequoia. OCLP 2.3.0 fixes this with updated graphics patches, apply root patches, and optionally use boot args. Regarding the resolved issue of non-metal crashing on macOS Big Sur and Sequoia 15.4, non-metal GPUs, for instance, NVIDIA 9400M, crash on Big Sur and Sequoia 15.4 because of dropped acceleration support. The new version of OCLP fixes this by using a legacy graphics patch for stability or booting with boot args if crashes persist. Regarding resolved T1 erroring on macOS Sequoia 15.4, T1 Max, for example, 2016 MacBook Pro, hit Touch ID or Apple Pay errors due to Sequoia's security updates. OCLP 2.3.0 patches T1 support. Regarding binary updates, key components and kernel extensions, KEXTs, have been updated to their latest versions to enhance compatibility and performance with macOS 15.4. These updates ensure OCLP's core infrastructure aligns with macOS 15.4's requirements, fixing potential regressions and boosting hardware support. So that was it for the OCLP 2.3.0 update. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. To update to the current release of OCLP, click on Download and Install and the new version will be downloaded and installed as well. When you get the success message, click on Yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. 
Click on the Install to Disk option, and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed. And after that, click on the EFI partition. When you get the success message, click on Yes from the menu. Click on the Start Root Patching option and proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the Reboot option, and then restart your Mac, and you're done. and the Mac still boots up without any issues. Now let me also check whether the Mac OS update is being fetched or not. And here you can see the macOS Sequoia 15.4 update is available for this unsupported Mac. So that was all about this OCLP build 2.3.0. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.